In this video tutorial, data acquisition via LabVIEW will be demonstrated. In electrical engineering applications, data acquisition is the process of getting signals in the form of voltage or current from a transducer such as a sensor and storing it in a computer for analysis purposes. This block diagram shows you a typical data acquisition system. The main components are a transducer such as a sensor, signal conditioning in the form of amplification and filtering, the DAC hardware, and the computer. The interface circuitry used for data acquisition is made of the following components. The DAC hardware namely NIUSB-6008 from National Instruments. This DAC is connected to a computer via USB. A variable DC supply is used to give a voltage between 0 and 5 volt DC. The output voltage is connected to one of the analog inputs of the DAC. This video shows how the interface circuitry is connected to LabVIEW. Increasing the DC voltage leads to an increase in the indicator reading of the VI front panel. Now let's construct the block diagram needed to get the variable DC voltage. First we need a VI called the DAC assistant which allows the DAC hardware to communicate with the block diagram of the VI. To get the DAC assistant, right click, choose input, and here we have the DAC assistant. Once you select the DAC assistant, initialization process is undergone, and here we have the NI DAC assistant wizard, which allows us to configure the DAC assistant program so that it can talk with the DAC hardware. Here we have to select whether we want to acquire signals or generate signals. We will choose acquire signal. Now the kind of signal we want to get is either analog input, counter input, digital input. In our case the input is analog. Now the kind of analog input we have is voltage. So we choose voltage. Now we choose the analog input channel. Here we have eight analog input channels. In our example, the output voltage from the DC supply is connected to the analog input zero. So we choose AI zero. Finally, within the DAC assistant VI program, we need to change some of the parameters. For example, here for the terminal configuration, we need to choose RSE and also the acquisition mode which says here in samples we need to make it sample on demand once we've done that we click OK now the DAC assistant is being built the VI is being built notice in the DAC assistant VI we have a terminal here called the data terminal the output of this terminal will be our voltage 0 to 5 volt. Within the front panel, a meter indicator is used to display the DC voltage, which is acquired by the DAC assistant. In the block diagram, the output of the DAC assistant will be wired to the uh, meter function. Now we run the program and change the value of the DC voltage. As you can see, real-time data acquisition is obtained. This concludes this video tutorial.